All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the components of reaction at the ball and socket joint at A and the tension in each cable necessary for equilibrium in the rod. So we see right away that we have this weight W, let's call it W, we have 600 newtons, or assuming there's a weight, it's actually a force um, pulling down, it could be somebody pulling it down. And we have this tension. I'm going to call this tension C since it goes towards point C. And I'm going to call this tension D because it goes towards point D. And what I want you to realize right away is that the cables TC and TD are pre pretty much similar towards the CX, um, the CX plane, which basically means that they're most likely gonna be these, well, they are gonna be the same tension. So that's something that you should notice right away. So when you're checking your math, you make sure that everything makes sense. Now, the, the first thing that I always tells you to uh, tell you guys to do is to do the sum of the forces and for that we need we need to find all the forces that are present here in Cartesian vector form so let me draw the reactions at A we got AX we got AY and we got AC so first let's find the tension at C now you know that the tension at C is equal to the univector that goes from B to C times the magnitude of that tension. The univector that goes from B to C is equal to the vector that goes from B to C over the magnitude of that vector, which is equal to minus 6 in the i, minus 2 in the j, plus 3 in the k, all over 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared all square rooted, which is 7 and that is equal to minus 0.857 in the i, minus 0.288 in the j, plus 0.429 in the k. Now you know that then TC in Cartesian vector form is equal to minus 0.857 TC, minus 0.288 TC, plus 0.429 dc we got one we got to do the same thing for td which is equal to the univector that goes from b to d times the magnitude let's move a little faster on this one is equal to bd vector over the magnitude of that vector which is equal to minus 6 plus 2 plus 3 in the i, in the j, in the k, all over 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared is 7 again. It's pretty much the same as the vector above, except that the j has the opposite sign. If you notice, 857 in the i plus 0.288 in the j, and I'll write it down here, plus 0.429 in the k. So t d is equal to minus 0.857 td plus 0.288 td plus 0.429 td now we have the Cartesian vector form of tc and td a the a reactions are already in Cartesian vector form and the weight is going straight down so it's already in Cartesian vector form so the next thing that you do is some of the forces which you know is equal to zero right and that would be tc plus td plus a x y and c minus the weight or plus the cartesian vector form of the weight if i wanted to write it properly now let's write this out like this minus 0.857 tc minus 0.288 tc plus 0.429 tc this is DC, I'm going to put it here, I'm going to write it down here. So here I'm doing TD. TD is minus 0 0.857 TD plus 0 0.288 TD plus 0 0.429 TD. Let's do A right here, which is the reaction A in the X and the Y and A in the C. And then the 600 going down only in the c-axis which is for the weight.
which is 600 newtons right here. So remember that the sum of all of these should be equal to zero. That means that we can derive three equations from this. In dx, we know that, oops, in dx, we know that zero is equal to minus 0.857 TC minus 0.857 TD plus AX. In the Y, we know that zero is equal to minus 0.288 TC plus 0.288 TD plus AY. And then in the C, we know that zero is equal to six, oops, let's say 600 is equal to 0.429 TC plus 0.429 TD plus AZ. So the, the thing is, let's go back here. The thing is, if you notice, we have three equations, but we have one, two, three, four, five variables. Therefore, we need to find a couple of more equations in order to, to be able to figure all this out. To find these more equations, what we're going to do is we're going to do the sum of the moments about a certain point. Now, which point is that? I know that if I do the sum of the moments about point A, I'm basically going to be getting rid of these three variables, which are AX, AY, and AC. And if I do the sum of the, sum of the moments around B, I'll be, be getting rid of two variables. So I'm going to pick the sum of the moments about A because it should make my life easier. Let's hide this. And basically what I'm saying is that the sum of the moments about A is equal to zero now. What do I know about the moments at A? We know that I have three forces, which are the weight, B, uh, sorry, uh, tension C and tension D. That's how I called them originally. And these are all the forces creating a moment around point A. That means that the sum of the moments about A is AB cross DC plus AB cross DD plus AE cross W. What is E? This point right here. So each one of these three terms has its own matrix, which is solve each matrix add all of them together and they should all cancel out and equal to zero, right? So let's do them. AB cross DC is equal to the matrix is I, J, and K. So from A to B, I know that I have six in the I, zero and zero. And then for the univector that is DC, and I might have made this a little too small, so I apologize about, apologize about that minus 0.857 TC. This one is minus 0.288 TC. And this one is plus 0.429 TC. I'll make the other columns a little bigger. Six, zero. You, we're rewriting the first and second column, minus 0.857 TC and minus 0.288 TC. Now, we got to do our positive diagonals. Messy because I made the matrix too tight. Don't do that on your notes, please. Uh, first one, zero. Second one, zero. Last one is K times six times negative 0.288. So that one comes out to be minus 1.728 TC in the K. Then negative diagonals. First one, zero. Second one, zero. Last one is negative times 0.429 times 6 times j, which comes up to be minus 2.574 tc in dj. Now we're going to do the same for the second one. I'm going to try and make it a little cleaner. i, j, k, and then 6, 0, 0 again. And then this is minus 0 0.857 TD, 0 0.288 TD, and 0 0.429 TD. 
rewrite first and second column 6 0 minus 0.857 td 0.288 td this one's a little better right um positive diagonals it's pretty much the same as above it's just that a sign is going to change because remember the numbers are the same except that the 0.288 just changed sign so this is going to come out to be uh first one zero second one zero third one is 1.728 td in decay but it's positive and negative diagonals zero zero and the last one is 0.429 times six times j which is minus 2.574 td in dj and then the last one last matrix ECS matrix because it has a lot of zeros which is always good when we do matrices uh, from a to e we have 300 zero. remember it's not 600 zero. sometimes you go fast and you make these mistakes and then the Cartesian vector form of the weight is minus 600 in the K. We rewrite first and second column. We have a ton of zeros. So we know that the first one zero, second one zero, third one zero. And then for the negative diagonals, we got first one zero, second one zero, third one is negative times negative 600 times three, which makes it this matrix equal to positive 1800 in the J. So now that we have the three matrices solved, we're gonna add this this and this and the i's adjacent in the case and they should all cancel out to zero in the i we have absolutely nothing in the j we have minus 2.574 tc minus 2.574 td plus 1800 equal to zero i'm going to call this equation one and then in the k i have minus 1.728 TC, and this one's important, plus 1.728 TD, which is equal to zero. If you solve this, you're gonna get that TC is equal to TD, and I'm gonna call that tension T then, okay? And if I plug this T into here, in other words, since they're the same, I'm just calling them T, then you realize that I have this equation and I only have one variable right therefore i solve for t in equation one and i realize that t is equal to 349.65 t is equal to both td and tc so we got the tension on both of the cables which is the same which makes sense because the, the cables are perfectly symmetrical that being said now that we have t we can plug this into the equations that we found on the first part which are these equations right here and remember we can replace tc and td for for t on both and solve for each one and when you do you're gonna get that ax is equal to 600 newtons ay is equal to zero and ac is equal to 300. The reason why y is equal to zero is because the cables are perfectly symmetrical and I keep keeping this whole system balanced. So that's why there's no reaction there. So final answer for the reactions at the supports. And final answer for the tension of both cables, DC and DD. If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're going to find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.